today's explaining the pose, we're going to look at a seated forward fold. We start with straight leg and flex the feet. So it's important to flex the feet. You're engaging the leg muscles, so we're working straight away, pulling the toes back towards the face. Inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, fold forward, so hinge from here. Don't try to round. So try to keep the length in the spine as you fold forward. And then we let the hands reach wherever they come to. So you can take the first two fingers around the big toes. You can take hold of the outside edges of the feet. If this is too much, then just rest the hands wherever they come to. You can even put them just on the floor. So it's more important to just rest the hands than desperately trying to reach and then you're hunching into the shoulders. So you might be able to reach your feet but it might be quite a strain. So we, we're trying to get rid of tension in yoga, so we don't want to create any more by reaching, creating this tension in the shoulders and the neck. It's better to draw the shoulders down the back. So if you're reaching here and then you try to draw the shoulders down the back and the hands just come to here, then that's fine, so just rest the hands there. It doesn't really matter um, how far forward you go, as long as you're feeling the stretch in the legs. So some people will need to fold a lot further just to feel that stretch. So don't worry about how far forward you're going. So you can take hold of the big um, toes with the first two fingers. If you're doing this, then try to draw the elbows out to the side. And in this pose, the drishti is the big toes. So we're always trying to gaze at the big toes so we're not just dunking down trying to round in. So it helps us keep our focus, keep the length in the spine and the shoulders drawing down the back. Now, of course, if you can't straighten the legs, you can always bend the legs and then you can do the same thing. Take hold of the outside edges of the feet or the toes. And you can just work from here. So you can start to just gradually, day by day, just starting to straighten the legs and going down a little bit deeper. Another alternative is to use a strap. So you might want to straighten the legs and then have the strap around the balls of the feet. And you can work from here. So it doesn't have to be a yoga strap, you can use a dressing gown belt, something like that. Something that isn't really too flexible. So again, you would inhale here, get the length in the spine, exhale, start to draw yourself forward. So you may just come to here, and that's perfectly fine, as long as you're feeling the stretch in the legs. And then day by day, you might be able to creep your hands a bit further forward. But again, try to keep the length in the spine, so we're not just we're not just rounding in. Try to keep that straight spine. We're just hinging here. Using breath. So every time you inhale, imagine something maybe pulling out the crown of the head. So as you inhale, imagine the length. And as you exhale, the forward fold. So just sinking a bit deeper with every exhalation. Try and have an equal steady breath. So the inhalation and the exhalation, it's the same length if you can. So that's our seated forward fold with straps, with bent knees, or just the general folding without anything. Hope that's helped. If you've got any requests for any different poses in our Explaining the Pose, then just get in touch and we'll see what we can do to help. Thank you. Namaste.